Welcome back, this is Fox, the next instalment in our Anno 1800 playthrough. As you can see, I've been busy. There hasn't been a video for a week or so. I've just been getting to grips with this new DLC. Playing around, I've reworked this island about three times. I'm still not happy with it, I'm going to have to do it all again. But yes, I did manage to pretty much do a full island of skyscrapers. There's plenty more room over here, I'm going to shift this industry back over here. I've still decided to make, uh, sh well, we're going to cover this, I'm not going to get involved in this now, I wanted to do this in another video, we're going to do what I intended on this video and that is cabs. I've done enough cabs to get us to, well, way more than we're going to need, put it that way. This is the cab island. Steam carriages, should I say. The whole production chain is set up for this. This is making me 292 steam carriages a minute. Um, this says I'm four under on the steam motors, I'm not. It's because the warehouses are full. These steam engine, these motor assembly lines need to be running to produce the extra goods that comes from the palace, but we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, so why did I choose to use this method and not the method that uses filaments you can swap out we go steam carriages items unknown all islands don't know why it's done that items all islands steam carriages must be cabs cab assembly line Right, the specialists I went for are Bruno Ironbright. He's the legendary. He gives uh, advanced weapons at a rate of 1 over 3, and he also gives back steam motors. You need steam motors to make these carriages, so using this Bruno gives you steam motors back for free in the production of the steam carriages. I then use this one, which is the Bechamel Converter. It's an epic item. You get plus 60% productivity and a minus 50% workforce. That's very important. The minus 50% workforce... The next item I use in these is just a generic minus 50. You can use the bell or the one from Nate that gives you minus 50 to get these to a negative 100 workforce. That way, you can boost them an extra 50% in the working conditions with no cost, no um, penalty, no riots. I don't get any riots every year. I get the occasional one go pop just because of the production. So yeah, all of the cable assemblies are that setup. So Bruno professional converter and a bell all negative 100% work all, all negative 100% workforce so they got a massive boost we've got 160 310 360 410 500 and some percent boost we get so yeah they're all working super crazy plus because as i said earlier the palace department the local department, you get a plus 50% productivity boost just by choosing this local department, the Department of Labour. Then there's this one, Skilled Labour Act. It gives you, well, look, you can see, whichever production chain you're using that makes goods of this, which makes use of this policy, it gives you them back again. So it makes steam carriages at a rate of 1 over 3. It also produces me steam motors. The steam motor factories produce steam motors again, you can see. They're producing double the steam motors uh, every fifth cycle. We are then getting steam motors back from Bruno as well. So it just makes perfect sense to use the steam motors for this setup. As I said, there is an item that enables you to swap out the steam motors. <coughs> Excuse me. Swap out the steam motors for filaments. But that needed, <coughs> that needed an awful lot of coal and I didn't want to deal with that. So yeah, really straightforward. Just steam motors and cabs. We'll go over the cabs in a bit. <clears throat> the steam motors are dotted around the place. These are just at zero workforce, so I'm using the Bechamel converter. This can affect the steam engine, steam carriages as well. I'm then using the printing press and a Ferras to get us down to the negative or zero workforce. As I said, so we can boost it at plus 50. So these... It's not going to show me, <coughs> excuse me, because the warehouse is full. It's not letting me hover over the production. 
Suffice to say, they're running at a lot. That we're getting 25, 85, 135, 185. They're at about 485% plus the extra items that we're getting back because of the uh, Skilled Labour Act. So yeah, all the, all the steam carriages need are the cabs, which we'll go over. All the uh, motor assembly ne lines need, sorry, are the um, steel, which has been made on site. The brass, I am importing. I'm using the um, advanced weapons that come as a byproduct to re-import the brass, so that's costing me nothing. Um, I'm making half of the coal, or just under half of the coal and the iron that we need to make the steel on site. I'm using the mines. Coal, steel. Coal, iron, sorry. Iron, iron. I have three iron mines and four coal mines on here. Um, the rest is being traded through Docklands via the advanced weapons. Uh, I just keep it on maximum so it's always topped up when it comes around. The steel you can see it dotted about the place. This is just... These run off the same items that the steam engines use as well. So you can get them to zero workforce with quite a big boost. And also we get steel back from the Skilled Labour Act as well. So using the Skilled Labour... Uh, Skilled Labour Act on an island making these cabs just makes perfect sense because you're getting a lot of a lot of these goods for free. Yeah, that's it. Nothing else too crazy over here. I say this setup enables me to have one, two, three, four, four, six, eight piers, all of the depots, all of the loading wharfs. Um, it's a real cool setup. I've been using this about the place, and we've got an island storage of three thousand six hundred. Um, I will increase this because I'm going to be using this as an island to trade a lot of stuff because of the advanced weapons. I will need to ship them around, out around the place because the, the numbers of stuff that I'm going to need to be trading are not going to be able to just fit on here. It's just not enough island storage. I can increase it by quite a lot. could probably get this up to 5,000 with the space that I've got, if I'm lucky. So yes, cab assembly line. Oh, what I do want to talk about is... Um, before I came to this method, there was a version 1 of this. If you remember the Facebook group, you probably did see it. This was the version 1. Believe it or not, this is um, this is clipped. So every single one of these cab assembly lines is clipped, which means they're producing the same amount what two cab assembly lines would um, for the same amount of space that they're taking up. But for me to do this... For me to clip these cab assembly lines, um, the whole island was covered pretty much with trade unions. There was, in, I think, there was enough room for me to get one trade union in here. And the overall output of this island was significantly less than the one that we've got now. The overall output was this: it was 176. Um, I was making 83 tons of champagne. I decided to, uh, and slot significantly more advanced weapons. I'll show you. So that was 176. We're making 292 here. Around about the same advanced weapons, believe it or not. But yeah, um, so I've managed to add an extra 100 tons a minute production on by not using the clip method and just spamming them around a trade union. Simply because the more, tra the more of these you've got on an island when using the skilled labour app, the more you produce. So... It doesn't make sense to use the clip method unless you only want... If you want to use, just use that one cluster for clip cab assembly lines, then yeah, it's perfect. It's the best solution for space. If you want to get volume, the, the biggest amount of volume with the least amount of space used, then it's the, definitely this method. I did have to make a lot more, obviously, motor assembly lines and stuff like that, but you can see we've utilised virtually the whole island now. There's some space here and there. I may dot some grain farms around here because we are going to be needing them for the next project which I have just finished. We'll talk about that later. So for this I need 223 chassis a minute. I'm getting that from four little islands dotted around the place. This one's making me 56. This one is making me 64. I didn't put that in the title. I always put it up the top here, so at a glance you know your output. This one is making me 65. 
and lastly coaches one is making me 58 so I'm probably making probably making a bit more than we need globally let's have a look all islands chassis yeah I'm making 20 more a minute than I need so I probably could thin that down or maybe just ship them off somewhere else and make another cluster of steam steam carriages but yeah these setups are really straightforward they're perfect for these like little islands, islands out here because all you need is wood timber and rubber obviously I needed a rubber island to do this I didn't bother recording this rubber islands are pretty uneventful because you simply just plop the farms down and then reap the rewards um, same as uh, the coffee island that I went over I decided to make the cigars on site to say, save shipping the tobacco around see the cigar factories are here making use of the tobacco that we get produced as a byproduct so there's 39 tons a minute tobacco here we're making 37 tons of cigars all in all this island is producing me 256 tons of rubber per minute pretty sweet there was 14 oil mines on this um, uh, you end up swimming in oil if you use the mines and stuff the way I do, so I didn't really need it. But I crammed seven round here. There are also some at the back here and amongst these tim the these foresters huts producing the timber for the uh, cigar factories. So if I wanted to import the timber from another island, I could probably put another oil mad mine down there. But it would mean snaking the uh, train tracks all around. This whole island is at zero workforce, as you can imagine. The rubber's being boosted 50%. And um, they're all running off tractors. You can't... Yeah, sorry, no, I was looking at the corn. Um, yeah, so it's my usual setup. The arborist, horticulturist, and miraculous steel plow. Uh, yeah, so the cabs need wood and rubber. The rubber, we, we just say, that's being imported. I might even be trading it for now, yeah. I'm using the um, wood veneers to trade it for now, but I've got plans for these wood veneers. These are going to be making me the grain that I need for my tallow. But yeah, for now, the rubber's being imported. We just then need wood. It's really simple. I use. Um, I decided to use the local department again, which gives you 50% productivity boost. And then I decided to use the one extra item slot. The main reason I didn't want these... Um, lumberjacks huts to take up a lot of space so with four items you can decrease the density a lot and I've also put Miss Rodriguez in here as well so we managed to squeeze 17 tons of cotton out of this little bit I mean it's not much but if each one of these islands is producing 17 tons of cotton this one's producing 25 I'm not too sure if I put her on all of the islands to be fair I think I didn't know that I forgot to do it on this one but yeah I mean if we're making 25 ish tons of cotton from each one of these little islands that's a hundred tons of cotton for free just from the lumberjacks huts I mean that's a min maxing thing that's what we do uh, yeah this is exactly the same setup you see on this island Miss Rodriguez she gives a 40% productivity boost uh, produces cotton at a rate of one every fourth cycle the Secateur, Druid Sickle and Ursula Green this one gives a big boost but these three are mainly for the forest density so you can squeeze them all around one trade union uh, apart from that, there's not much else going on. I do use uh, Serapim on the coaches. He is very, 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 very good specialist. 50% productivity is the biggest boost you can get for any item on this sort of this sort of production chain. So 50% productivity. The main reason is he produces electricity. So we don't have to worry about shipping oil over here or using the mines to get to create us the oil and then we don't have to build a power plant they just get the electricity straight from this dude out of the trade union so we use Serapim I then use Ferros cabinet maker is a really good one he gives a good boost of 30% and then gives minus 60% workforce and with this item minus 40% workforce and a 25% boost meant that I can I could boost all these by 50% which I haven't done because they're at zero workforce. I'm producing way more timber than we need, and the rubber's good, so let's just see how much that increases the production. I mean, I know it's only 50%, but 
Have I forgot to do that across all of them? That would be excellent if I have. 57. <laughs> be excellent that I forgot to do something. Four, seven. That's an extra. That's going to be an extra like thirty plus tons if I forgot to do that on them all. Don't tell me I have. Why is that one? One of these just showed at workforce. That are you outside the? What's happened there? Done it the wrong way around. That's annoying. I'm going to have to shift everything around now. For that to go there. Let's see if we can do away with that. Problem solved. They should all be at zero workforce now, which means we, yeah, it's already done on this island, so. He's just saying they're not got a warehouse now. the palace to there because yes right that's that sorted is this one been done no so this is at 65 let's push that to 73 this was only a little one this is at 58. That's already been boosted, so yeah. Good. We've just snuck out some more carriages there. That means I can make another cluster of steam carriages somewhere. They're very, very, very useful for trading. Anyway, I'm digressing. This is what I want to show you. Cab Island. I need 187, I think, tons a minute for 7 million because of the reductions I'm using. I'm using a lot of reductions. I've decided to go for clusters of four and we'll go over this at a later date but i'm using the um, vacuum cleaner which reduces steam carriages the table lamp which does bulbs and jewelry lipstick does steam carriages and bulbs and the toaster which does bulbs there is another one which i was looking at which i may bring over here i think it was It was one of the ones that needed items from the Arctic. Yeah, the gas, the refrigerator, does 10% bulbs. There was another real good one as well. It might be in the drugstore. Face cream. No, lipstick was the best one. Minus 25% on the cabs. You can see, like, this whole island, we are at 302,000 investors on this one island and they are only using eight cabs a minute two of which i'm actually making on site because of the bulbs so crazy yep anyway video on this to come well probably not what i will be showing in the next one is this little beauty this is a min max in perfection except for this little slot here but this is for a museum or something like that or a zoo this is biscuits at the minute i'm only making 
49 tons a minute because that's all I need but there is enough biscuit there is enough biscuit manufacturers and flour mills here to make can I remember what it was I needed a minute 909 a minute 909 biscuits a lot anyway I hope you enjoyed this biscuit island to come next or I may show you how I plan out uh, my islands. I have pre-planned another island. Yeah, I'll show you it quickly. I found a cool mod if you're wondering. You can actually build straight to investors to save a lot of time. Um, I didn't use it on that last one but I may use it on this. Uh, you can blueprint investors and build them straight up instead of having to go through farmers, workers and that. It's really going to help me move this playthrough along and bring a lot more content for you but yeah. This one's all planned and laid out perfect. I could not get this better if I tried. I spent three hours on this today. Anyway, yes, we are moving forward. Seven million investors inbound. I don't know if we're going to have room, but we're going to effing try. I hope so. Yeah, please give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned. Join the Discord. Yeah, and we'll see you in the next one.